A single photograph could take hours to execute, and more so underwater. For three days, photographers trained their lenses on corals, wrecks, and models as they sank to the seabeds of the Gulf of Elet, combining diving techniques with artistic expression. The shipwreck was a popular location at this year's Elet Red Sea Shootout, where underwater photographers from around the world hustled for three days to capture the best images. About 80 photographers competed, including amateurs and professionals. Moles combed the seabed day and night for exotic aquatic life. A handful entered the fish and fashion category, in which the photographer can make use of nudity, fashion, and styling elements upon his choice. The shoots were challenging not only for photographers but also for their models. They were required to hold their breaths for as long as possible while posing. In between poses, they took gulps of air from scuba tanks held by another diver. A lot is considered, I would say, the best spot or the best dive destination for such a competition, because the dive size, the dives that, the dive size that the competitors has to go, they don't need you know boats or other、uh, vehicles to go to. They just step off、uh, the beach. The stumbling blocks underwater are plentiful. The photographers could only give directions using sign language. Currents could disrupt the pose, and lighting is elusive. Underwater photography, for most, is a hobby and an expensive one. A simple camera with a waterproof casing can be bought for just several hundred dollars, but high-end systems with multiple lenses and spotlights extending out like crab legs can cost up to forty thousand dollars, and that does not include the scuba gear. Winning first place with a ten thousand dollar prize is pretty much as good as it gets.